Hello world, Ophelia here, and welcome back to Edna and Harvey. In this episode, I am determined to try to find one of the tickets for the laundry. And... I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. Um... Nope. Suppose we could try to find a way to get Peter to go in there, but I'm not sure how. And... B-Man? Hello, B-Man. Hello, stranger woman. Nah, I want him to keep calling me stranger, Why I think that's cool. Why haven't you calling me stranger? As you wish, stranger woman. Are you drawing anything in particular? I'm still waiting for inspiration. A sip of coffee would surely be of help, but I'm ashamed because of my allergy. That's nothing to be ashamed of. My allergy leads to an overproduction of earwax. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. I, I, I didn't need to know that. I'll be going then. Go ahead. I think the bar is back here, right? Yep. Peter, there's a party going on for you. You need to go. Hey, you. Do you know a way out of here by that any That wasn't chance? what I wanted to do, there but okay. There is no way out. Not out of this building. Not out of this skin of mine. Not out of this life. Yeah, I'm gonna leave him alone now. I'd better leave you alone in your despair. <laughs> right. Why should anyone want to keep me company? You're right. I don't know either. Hmm. I think there was another room near... Um, I think it was where the guy was talking on the phone. I believe that was through this door. Mm -hmm. yes, there's gotta be something else in here. I didn't really go through here very well. The plants. I don't have a vacant place in my nightshirt, and the window seat in my heart belongs to Harvey. I spit on passers by from up there. Oh, um, use TV. Stop that. I need to know how this ends. Uh. <laughs> Hello. Hey. You don't have to hide from me. How can I be sure? You could be a velociraptor in disguise. No, we are not. Can I change the channel? May I please change the channel? By no means. I need to know how this ends. The fate of mankind depends <laughs> on it. I don't want to tell him that dinosaurs become extinct. <laughs> but it was the gardener. Let's go with that. It was the gardener. Oh, impossible. I suspected the T-Rex. Hmm. Maybe one could use dinos in landscaping. I should definitely uh, run some quick calculations on that. Oh, yes, you can change the channel. I'll have to revise my records. Okay, then. Welcome to the Stock Exchange News. Oh. This is about two things and two things only. Buying and selling. Great. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. Yep. 
Oh, maybe we could get the guy on the phone to come in here and watch that so he doesn't have to be on the phone. Hello? Hello! Bye. What's that? Bye? Bye. Bye? No, no don't buy anymore. Stop buying. Stop buying. What's that? Phew. <laughs> that was close. Maybe we should tell him to sell then. Hello? Hello? Sell. Sell. What's that? Sell. 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 Sell? Yes. Sell. Sell? Are you sure? No, buy. No, buy, buy everything. Buy, buy. What's that? Phew. <laughs> that was close. Hmm. Hello? Hello? There's gotta be a way to do this. Bye. What's that? Bye? No, don't buy. Don't buy. Don't buy. What's that? Hmm. <laughs> that was close. Hmm. Hello? Hello? Bye. W what's that? Bye? Bye. Bye? Bye. Bye? What did you recommend selling eventually? <laughs> Look, Brucie, it's a boy! What? What? Just a joke. A joke? Oh no. Not again. The phone call! Hello? You're still there? What's that? What? Lost everything? <laughs> Not again! <sighs> okay. <laughs> I understand. Alright. Later. <sighs> Didn't you want to make a phone call? Here. You can keep the phone. <sighs> awesome, we have a phone now! It's a shame it's not actually connected to anything. What was that? Awesome! We have coins! Change! Yeah. And I believe there was somewhere that we could use the change. Uh, it's in that area behind the bar, I believe. Hmm. Yeah, because the bee man wanted coffee. And I think there was a coffee machine that you like put the coins in, cup underneath. Yes. Use coin with coin slot. Hmm. There seem to be no more cups. The coffee's just running through. Oh, oh, cup, cup. Did it work? No. And I lost my coin. Okay, I still have the phone. I can still go back and get another one. I wonder how big is this asylum? There seems to be a lot of rooms. And there were a lot of floors as well, if I remember. Hmm. Whew. I'll 
obviously someone tried to make a call while I was away. <laughs> Color me lucky. Yes. That was very good. Change! Alright, let's do this right this time. Cup underneath before we put the money in. Peter, why are you still there? Enjoy the coffee. Oops. Coffee with B Man. Here, I've brought you a cup of coffee. How considerate of you. <laughs> Ooh. Did that do anything? I'm not sure. for you. This will get you back on your feet in no time. I doubt that. He's gonna run to the bathroom then. So, can we get a drink now, actually? Barkeep, one drink, please. Of course, my dear. What will it be? Um, I recall this was the only one that was on the menu. Drink, please. One stinky drink coming up. That's cute. With a little umbrella. But what's that funky smell? <laughs> Did somebody die suddenly? <laughs> Should we drink it? Not what I wanted to do. Yeah. Oops. Hello, Edna. You got really close. I didn't mean to do that. Use the stinky drink with foosball table. What are you doing there, Edna? Oops. I. I'm afraid I've forgotten the rules for foosball. We will reconstitute your memory, Edna. I promise. <laughs> I've changed my mind. I don't want this stinky drink. Nobody wanted the greenhouse effect either. Mm. But now that's happening anyway. Alright. I guess we'll give it to someone else later. Does he want it? Are you thirsty? Very much so. I can't have the drinks that the barkeeper mixes, however. They are 50% insecticide. I... Okay. I, I, I gotta wonder. I'm, I'm just so curious. Oh. <laughs> oh, Jim Peter. I'd rather not disturb them. I'm sure they want to be left alone. 
Okay. I don't want to take it all at once. Oh. show that to him. I don't want him thinking poorly of me. Oh, uh, thought we could give it to him and have him like freak out with the taste and we could get inside. We have a straw. We have a straw. I must be crazy. Oh. There was a way to drink it. Are you alright? Edna, say something. <gasps> the natives have surrounded the fort, Colonel. <laughs> Phew, thank God. <laughs> Everything back to normal. Right. How is the normal. drink? So so. Well, at least you finished it. Yes, I had to destroy it. Something as diabolical as this stinky drink should not roam free in the world. <laughs> Besides, I didn't finish it completely. I left the fly. Uh. Oh, I wonder. I could press the fly into the earwax. That sounds good to my ears. So why don't we just do it? <laughs> it resembles a mosquito that's been enclosed in tree resin. Perfect. 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 I've got something for you. Whoa! I can't believe it. Dino DNA embedded in amber like it should be. <laughs> this is exactly what I need for my dino breeding program. <sighs> May I keep it? What will you give me in return? Hmm. Well, the only thing I can give you is my ticket for the laundry list. Yes. After all, I know Perfect. That's just what we needed. My Peruvian amber mines. Do we have a deal? Done deal. This is supposed to be a ticket? That's just a coat hanger. <coughs> really? Coat hanger number three. Let's let's see if we can get on then. We have a coat hanger. I've got my ticket. And may I see it? Very well. That's a valid ticket. <laughs> But it isn't your turn yet. Please stand in line and wait until your number comes up. What? You've got ticket number three, but number two is up next. Why, that's stupid. The system never fails. Okay, so Alaman's holding a coat hanger kind of out the window. I wonder if we can try switching with him, because he probably has number two. And we need that one to get on the... Yes, we can do this. Hey, Alu! Hello, Edna. What brings you here this time? Can I have the coat hanger? Normally, I despise the concept of material possessions, but the coat hanger is essential to me, I'm afraid. For one thing, it is my aerial that connects me to the ethereal realm. I'm also keeping it handy just in case. An aluminum suit is very prone to wrinkling, you know. Uh, I have to get can, a move can, on. Can we, can we switch? Take care of your karma. Can we switch them though, or something? Take care of element. Excuse me, please. Yes, my child. 
Do you really need this coat hanger for your weather experiment? I've got one here that's at least as good. Aha. Uh -huh. And now you'd like to swap? Yes, I would. That would be nifty. Well, if it makes you happy. Thank you. You're a real friend. And we've got the coat hanger. Awesome. Let's finally get on the laundry. We have the right one this time now. I've got my ticket. And may I see it? Very well. You may pass. Yes. Yes. Oh. Huh. Talk to Mr. Fro. The next exit is approaching. Wait, I want I wanted to talk to the guy in there. That was I wasn't quick enough. Where where am I? Oh, I'm back there. Where's this healing window? Hello, princess. What's a girl like you doing in an asylum like this? <laughs> uh... <laughs> ah, Amanda. Wait, don't tell me. You're Edna, right? Hey, how do you know that? Yeah, how do you? There isn't much that Dr. Marcel can hide from me. So we seem to be fellow prisoners. By the way, People call me the Keymaster. Oh. Isn't that the cutest nickname? I don't know if I should trust you. But he might know how to get out of here. Do you know how I can get out of here? Yes. What? Yes. I know how you can get out of here. Help me. I've had plenty of time to figure out an escape plan. Perfect. Only problem is, I can't do anything about it in here. I can, though. You, on the other hand, can move relatively unrestricted out there. And you are clever. Unlike most other inmates. So, what's your plan? First, you must find a way to the other side of the bars. Then, you'll have to make a copy of the master key. We'll be able to get out of the building with mm -hmm. that. It opens my cell door, too. Finally, mm -hmm. we need a vehicle to exit the compound. Sounds fairly simple, but... I don't know if I should let him out of here, though. Right, how do I get a master key? How do I get a copy of the master key? You'll have to find the original first. Then, you'll need clay for the imprint, a furnace to bake the clay, and an easily melted metal to cast the copy. Gold would be perfect. Oh, so many more questions now. Where do I get gold? Where do I get gold? Hmm. Tricky, that. Dr. Marcel keeps his polo trophies too securely to get at them. The only alternative I see is Adrian's medal from the Jigsaw Contest. However, Adrian is sitting in his cushion fort in the lounge, like Lord Muck. And he guards himself with this uh, playboy. What's his name? Drogglejack. <laughs> <sighs> Aww. Okay, okay. It's alright. As stupid as Adrian might be, he has a pretty impressive mind-reading act. It might prove difficult to get the medal from him. Even if you manage to get past Drunkle Junk. Okay, that's how we get gold. Where do we get clay? Where can I find clay? Good question. The clay from occupational therapy has been completely pounded into ugly ashtrays. You can't use that anymore. But maybe it would help you to know that this asylum has been built on a pretty clay-packed layer of earth. Okay, so there's clay underneath the asylum. And what about the master key? Where can I find the master key? That's easy. The guard they call Bladder has it. Bladder is on monitor watch duty, 
in the control room on the third floor. He's far from being watchful, but when it comes to keys, he's a real bulldog. Maybe you can distract him with something. Hmm. Okay. We need gold, clay, and the key. And other side of the crate. And we need a vehicle. Let's focus on finding like clay first. I think I know what I have to do now. Good luck, Etna. Is there anything else you'd like to know? What do you know about me? What else do you know about me? Just that a dark secret links you to the doctor. An unspeakable, dark secret. He spends much time and energy trying to erase your memory. One could even say it is a personal crusade. And the fact that you always find a way to remember drives him to great irritation. Hmm. Interesting. Why are you in solitary? They think I'm dangerous. And they're probably right. That's all you need to know. Mm. This guy seems to know a lot. Is there anything else you know about Dr. Marcel? He is a sick man, guided by hate. Ever since the death of his son, he's been bitter and eccentric. Locks himself up in his secret room and performs these sadistic electric shock treatments on his patients. A dark secret links you to the doctor. He's obsessed with the idea of erasing your memory. Is that enough information? Yeah, I think that's good for now. I've got to go. Give my regards to Lady Liberty. Who? What? Okay. All right, guys, I'm actually going to end this episode here. We managed to get the coat hanger, which was actually the ticket to the laundry lift. We found the key master. And we've got a somewhat decent plan so far. So I'll leave this here and I will see you all in a different episode. Bye guys.